today's video we are looking at the GP Toys Phoenix S915. Uh, this is a completely ready to run brushed RC car. Looks like it says it's capable of going 18 miles an hour so we will end up doing a speed test on this. But um, let's open it up and see what we have in the box. So once you take the car apart from the box, um, you'll have the car itself, the owner's manual, the remote, and this little box of tools. So in the toolbox you get the fin for the car, goes on there with a couple screws. Uh, you get the steering wheel for the remote, as well as a hex driver for the wheels, and some screws for that back fin. You also get a charger, and that's it. The charger has four prongs on it and connected to a USB, so you can charge that pretty much anywhere you need. Um, looks like they give you a couple extra clips here, and this is for the remote. So the remote for this car is pretty basic. Uh, the steering wheel comes off and nothing really holds that on. You have your on and off switch right here. On the back, you have your steering trim left and right, and your batteries will go in the arm here. You do need to supply yourself with two AA batteries. Those are not included. This is a rear wheel drive car, so the front tires will spin freely and the back tires will uh, have the motor connected to them. So once you get the body off the car, you'll notice that everything is pretty much contained. The box says that this car is water resistant. Uh, I'm not sure how much you want to take that for, but um, it does look like it's pretty protected. You can run this thing through puddles if you want and you probably will be okay. Um, after you undo the four clips here, you will gain access to the battery. And actually, it looks like this car gives you two batteries. They are lithium ion 500 milliamp hour batteries each. And the connectors are that little proprietary connector here. Um, it is a four wire setup. Uh, I'm not sure if you'll be able to change that or not. Um, put some different batteries in there, but maybe you could. And you only get one charger with the car, so you will have to charge them one at a time. Um, once you get in here, the batteries go in here. On off switch for the car is right here. The steering servo is up front, and the motor is in the back here. You don't have any adjustability with camber or tow or anything like that. These are all plastic parts. Uh, I'm not sure what the availability is on any of them, but in the back you will have metal cups that you can see there. And the springs are not oil filled and they are very bouncy. So you can see how that car just kind of, you will get a lot of bounce when driving this. Might be fun, um, but it might make it tough to drive body is completely plastic there's basically no metal on this at all um, which will be okay in the summertime um, it'll make it easier to uh, absorb some crashes and stuff like that but uh, be careful in the winter time I'm not sure what the availability of these parts are you might have trouble finding them if stuff breaks the tires are a rubber compound they're pretty stiff and they don't look like they are glued at all there's no foam in them. They do have a little bit of squish, um, but they are very thin. If you can see on the back here, the tire is about maybe five millimeters thick, and that's about it. You will be able to switch them from front and back in case they get a little bit worn, but um, you should be okay with that. Taking off one of the wheels, they are connected just by your typical 12 millimeter hex. So you can go ahead and put pretty much any wheel you want on there for 10th scale or whatnot.
my final opinions about this car if you were going to go out and buy it i would say don't um it's more on the toy grade for the price you can get a lot better vehicles um i would check out the high boxing rampage the ratchet uh the hailstorm those are all 118 scale so they are a little bit smaller than this but for the price you're getting a lot more so this is a rampage compared to that um like i said a little bit smaller Everything's a little bit easier to work on. The connectors are a little bit better, but um, this is more of a toy grade. If you're getting this for a kid, I would say it's probably pretty good. It is a little bit hard to control with the rear wheel drive, but you know, take it for what it's worth.